Hello everyone. Um, this is Ali Humaida, uh, a compliance consultant, medical devices, active medical devices at um, uh, 601 Consultancy Limited. My expertise is mainly on the IEC 60601-1, uh, the general standard, um, the ISO 14971, the risk management. Um, IEC um, 62304 uh, for the medical software and um, IEC 62366 for usability engineering. This short session um, um, to uh, reach people who are involved who are involved in the design and development of medical devices. Um, so when I refer, when I say medical devices in this session, it means medical electrical equipment. This is important. Um, in this session, I'm going to discuss the standards to consider during the uh, design and development um, on top of the general standard, um, uh, which is IEC 60601, um, medical electrical equipment, part one, general requirements for basic safety and essential performance and also the relationship between the general standard and the other standards. Those other standards include collateral standards um, and they take the form of IEC 60601-1-XX. Uh, they, um, they have additional requirements on top of the um, general uh, standard, but they are based on um, uh, specific aspects such as uh, home use, environmentally conscious design, alarm system, um, and so on. So those are the collateral standards. On the uh, bottom left, we have a particular standards, um, um, IEC 60601-2-XX or 8 or IEC 80601-2-XX, and those are um, from the from the name. They are particular to certain devices. So I put some. I put just three examples here for high frequency generators. That's dash two dash two and infusion pumps dash two dash twenty four and um, 80601-2-49 for uh, vital sign monitors. Um, or patient monitors. Um, uh, the other um, standard that uh, very important standard is the uh, application of risk management to medical devices, which is ISO 14971. Um, and the uh, national deviations, basically additional requirements based um, on the um, 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 uh, national um, requirements uh, such as US, Canada, Australia, Brazil, um, uh, Japan, and, and so on. And there are also some uh, um, uh, uh, group differences, uh, uh, group deviations, and that's like um, the EU group differences. Uh, so some requirements related only for um, uh, EU. Um, so those deviations um, are just additional. Um, uh, this is uh, really short, but can quickly give an example. For example, um, air spawn testing for uh, US and Canada uh, um, uh, will require more test currents, um, like um, 40 amps at um, uh, low voltage, I think uh, 12 volts. Where in Europe is like uh, where in the in the main standard is 25 amps uh, test current for the air spawn testing. The other um, um, standards uh, like process standards or the semi collateral standard that's the software and the usability. Um, so those are the medical standards, all of them. Um, then. Um, some non-medical standards that uh, components standards and those are standards applicable to the component component mission. I put some examples here but let's let's take the um, uh, secondary battery they if you have a secondary battery employed in the 
equipment, it would need to meet the requirement of 62133. Um, um, in addition to the um, uh, in addition to the requirement of IEC 60601 dash one, um, basically when you have the uh, components certified, it will make it easier to meet the requirements of the uh, of the general standard. And also we have um, the IT standard, uh, um, uh, IT and audio um, equipment. Um, this is uh, IEC 62368 um, and IEC uh, 6950. Um, IEC 62368 um, replaces the IEC 6950. So the IEC 6950 is the um, is the former. Um, so if, for example, you're employing a monitor, an iPad, um, uh, sometimes a power supply unit. Uh, um, any um, IT equipment um, we need, um, yeah, we need to meet uh, the, the the requirements of the um, um, IT and audio uh, standard. You can see the arrows and um, have three phrases. I think the over rules requires and uh, refers to yeah. when um, it says over rules. Let's start from the um, particular standard. Basically, the part particular standard over uh, overrules the collateral standard and the collateral standard collateral standards um, overrule the general standard um, so if if you if you have a, a, um, like the same requirement in the particular standard and the general standard you will need to satisfy the particular standard um, um, um uh, uh when when the when it when this is uh, when it's in conflict with the with the general standard so so the uh, the particular standard take priority over collateral and also over the general and the collateral take priority over the general standard and also the um, uh, the pseudo collaterals also take priority over the general standard, where the general standard overrules, of course, the components uh, standards and the IT and audio system. So uh, yeah, in the design, you will need to consider. It depends really on the on the device uh, you are. Uh, designing um, so um, uh, yeah uh, just uh, consider those priorities um, the the other term is refers to so the general standard refers to component standard and also refers to the IT IT we can consider a component standard here um, uh, but because it's really um, many standard and and also the IEC 60601 uses um, the uh, IT and audio standards for um, other areas such as insulation coordination. It depends really on the route of compliance or the route of testing. Um, uh, that refers to basically uh, take the same example. Um, so when it comes to batteries, the uh, 60601 um, uh, asking um, the use of the standard that the um, the battery shall meet the requirements of IEC 62133. And also you will need to take uh, note of the version inside the standard and uh, also depends on the version of the standard of the general standard you're using. Um, and, and so on. Um, uh, the um, that refers to yeah addition. I think I covered this one. So yeah, um, uh, um, at the end um, of this session, um, we just uh, we don't really need to concentrate only on the general standard. We need to consider other areas. Um, Yes. Okay. The um, the other term I use refers uh, basically. This is really related to the risk management, particular standard, collateral standard, general standard, and the semi collaterals. All of them require um, um, 
ISO 14971. All of them require risk assessment um, uh, standard. Um, the as you may understand that the ISO 14 uh, ISO um, uh, IEC 60601, the general standard defined pass fail criteria um, for all the clauses, but there are some areas um, uh, or some gaps in the standard uh, that will need to be covered by um, uh, risk assessment. Um, in other words, that the risk assessment will define the pass fail criteria. And this is also applicable to the other standards that require the, um, the um, uh, risk management. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all. Um, but if you have any um, questions, you can um, contact me if you want to discuss um, a, a certain area uh, in more details. Um, yeah, we, you can contact me. Uh, these, these are here my contact details. Um, yeah, my email and uh, the website. You, the website you can find the services that we offer as well. Thank you for listening, and, and bye for now.